Welcome back, everyone. Oxygen deprivation is obviously very dangerous, especially for pilots. Recognizing the symptoms before it's too late can save a whole lot of lives, which is why the FAA is having an oxygen training session for pilots this week right here in Reno. Angela Schilling has the story. Recognizing the symptoms of hypoxia is crucial for pilots. For CJ, parts of her oxygen training is a blur. Okay, CJ, can you point me? Okay, can you put your chin? It happened fairly quickly. I was really surprised at how fast it was. When the altitude is close to 30,000 feet and the oxygen level goes down to 7%, it can only take a minute for your brain to struggle. The dizziness, the lightheadedness, the color saturation, those are my uh, first signs and I have to respond quickly. And now I know if I'm flying, I have to respond very quickly to those signs. This is in a controlled environment where oxygen can be given to the participants if needed. Now, before the pilots go in the chamber, they stand in this doorway right here. And I decided not to go in the chamber itself because I get pretty claustrophobic and you won't be able to understand anything I'm saying from the second I would step inside. When your oxygen supply is low, simple tasks like signing your name become difficult. The few participants we talked to were too out of it to even attempt that. Oh, do you remember any of the questions they asked you? And very you few, and it happened very quickly, um, and I would have crashed had I not put on oxygen. But now folks like CJ can recognize the symptoms before it's too late. People in our area have been asking about it for quite some time, and I was able to convince the Oklahoma crew that brings it here from the Aeromedical Institute to offer it because of our high elevation airports in the area. Covering the story, Angela Schilling, Channel 2 News. Well, we are blowing